Hello, hello everyone. Hello. Hola, hola a todos. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello, thank you for joining. Hola, hola a todas. Chao, Daniela. <laughs> okay. We are going to experiment together today. Um, hi, Adi. Hi, David. Hola, hola, Teresa Cruz. Hello, everybody. So uh, you could just share this video by pressing the share button down there. So everybody knows we are live and they can join us. I think I have my triple too high. Give me a second so I can uh, put it a little more close to the table. One second. This is always tricky. And it's also the first time I do a live with this new phone. So, okay, I think it's good now. Yeah, I think so. It is good? Yeah. Okay, so what's going on? ¿Qué está pasando? I will try. Is there anybody there speaking Spanish? ¿Hay alguien ahí hablando español? Hi Martina! Hi Mary Kay! <laughs> okay, so if someone is speaking Spanish, I will. Hola, hola, Juana, Nati, María. Okay, so I will speak in English y hablaré también en español. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's going on? Uh, the nice. Gorgeous people of Artesa, Artisa, I don't know how to say that in English. They send me some goodies so I can try them, I can test them, I can play with them and share it with you and give you my honest opinion about them. So I'm very excited. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? Bueno, pues que la gente de Arteza me ha mandado unos regalos para que los pruebe y para que mire a ver si me gustan y comparta con vosotros mi opinión. So, I will open them for the first time now. Voy a abrirlos por primera vez ahora. And if you like them, you will find uh, some links in the description box below. You will find links for United States and you will find links for Europe. And you will have a discount of 10% in your purchase if you're using my coupon code NUNECA1 that you will find there. Um, and it will be um, working until the 2nd of July, okay? Bueno, vais a encontrar abajo los links a los productos que voy a utilizar hoy, que vamos a ver hoy. Uh, vais a ver que hay unos links que pone um, Reino Unido, Europa, España. Ahí podéis pincharle y podéis comprar los productos de Arteza. Tenéis un cupón del 10% de descuento, que es NUNECA1, lo vais a encontrar ahí también, y es válido hasta el 2 de julio. So, what did they send me? <laughs> um, I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, they send me some watercolors pants, half pants. Let me open it. Me han enviado unas acuarelas. Um, it comes 36, 36 uh, colors. Oh, come on. Okay. Me han enviado unas acuarelas. Vienen 36 colores. And this is... Oh, this is to actually to do a color chart. How nice is this? Is, oh, we can use this now. Mm, viene con una especie de cartita de color que podemos hacer hoy. Qué genial. Um, okay, they are like this with the plastics, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they have this, so I have to take it out. I don't know if I should keep it or what. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, they are like this. Vale, tiene estas pastillitas de acuarela. Uh, que ahora por lo que sea no soy incapaz de meter aquí ok, sí y viene con esta cartita de color que podemos hacer ahora ok, let me ok, fantastic you don't need to keep the plastic ok, fantastic, thank you, Adi <laughs> so, 
So this is one thing, okay? Esta es una de las cosas. Of course, they send me some great quality watercolor paper. It says expert. I hope I don't ruin it. <laughs> Me han mandado un papel de acuarela. Eh, pone experto. Espero no arruinarlo. And it feels amazing. I have to say, it is. I hope. I think it's uh, cold press. Ya yeah, es prensado en frío. And it says it can be used for watercolor techniques and mixed media. Okay. Vale, me han enviado este papel de acuarela de 100 gramos de algodón, uh, 100, perdón, de 100% algodón, creo que es 300 gramos, sí, prensado en frío para técnicas de acuarela y mix media. So, I don't know, Martina, if this is the same paper uh, you use in the booklet you sent me. I'm keeping this for a very special project. No sé si es el mismo papel que utilizó mi amiga Martina en un librito que ella me mandó. So, what else do I have here? I have these 84 empty half pans. So I can use them with this that I am very excited about. Me han enviado también esta otra cajita que tiene las, los cuadraditos vacíos. ¿Veis? Están vacíos para poder utilizarlo con esto otro. So, let me show you what this is. I'm really, really excited about this. Estoy súper, súper feliz de que me hayan enviado esto. They are wash colors. And it comes 60 colors. And I think they are amazing. Because look how fantastic this is. All the colors they have. Me han enviado esto que son eh, témperas, pero no témperas de colegio, evidentemente. So they have all these 60 colors. Oh my gosh, I need a bigger table. Wait, necesito una mesa más grande. <laughs> Karen said, oh my god, I think this light is going to, to cost me money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to tell you that the links you will find down uh, in the description box, there are affiliate links. That means that it will cost you the same, but I will receive a little commission. Yeah, what is wash? Um, wash is something uh, that is not acrylic and is not watercolor. I would say that is half and half, okay? So, as I was saying about the affiliate links, so if you click on the links down below and you purchase something, it will have the same cost for you. Uh, you will have the 10% discount if you use my code and I will receive a little commission. I just want to make that clear because I don't want you to think they're, they're going to, uh, you are going to pay more for it or anything, okay? Um, los links que encontraréis abajo son links afiliados, eso quiere decir que el precio para vosotros de los productos será exactamente el mismo, con el 10% de descuento si utilizáis el código NUNECA1, pero a mí me darán una pequeña comisión. Um, el precio para vosotros es exactamente el mismo. I think I'm losing the order, but I don't care. So... Where do we start? Do you want me to start with the watercolors? ¿Por dónde queréis que empiece? ¿Por las acuarelas? Let's start by the, for the watercolors, yeah. I think so. Con todo eso vas a poder salpicar la habitación entera. Okay. So, first I realized I need to buy proper paint brushes because all my paint brushes are... Okay. Not too bad, but not good enough, I think. So I will need good paint brushes for this. So let me take all these things out. Oh my gosh, I want to take that out. Okay, fantastic. We can do it like this. Um, come on. Yeah. This is violet. Not all finish, just better texture and density. Okay. It seems like Aditi knows a lot about this. I'm super excited. <laughs> so, 
how am I supposed to know the number if I don't keep this? I need to keep this and I don't know. Just like putting it behind or something, right? I can do like this. ¿Cómo voy a saber luego si lo descoloco cuál es? Necesito ponerle esto debajo. So I think I'm going to place this here. Um, so I will always know this is violet. Voy a ponerle la pegatina aquí debajo, así siempre sabré que este es el violeta. <laughs> okay, this is not easy to... Yeah, I know, but imagine I take them out for some reason. You know, I want to make sure I remember what is what. <laughs> yeah, I I have some of those, Karen, but I think this is high quality. This is like, not professional maybe, but high quality watercolors. So, okay, nobody wants me to put the stickers in the back. <laughs> mm, why I like them? <laughs> Look, it's very easy. You put it like this and it will work. So, I don't know. What I okay. I tell you something, it's really hard to take them from here. I'm this is driving me crazy. Come on. Okay. Let me take them all out. Maybe in the drive? No, there. Ah, it's okay. Okay. Yoo -hoo. Okay. So, I want to be very honest with you. I have no idea about watercoloring. I have no idea about how to use washes, but... I'm always wanting to learn something new, so maybe I can incorporate it to my mixed media works. Voy a ser muy franca con vosotros, no tengo ni idea de acuarelas ni de washes, de temperas, pero siempre me apasiona aprender cosas nuevas que pueda aplicar después a mis trabajos de mixed media. So, I think I'm going to like this. And I've been thinking that maybe I can do a series of videos um, about this, like with watercolors and with watches, and maybe we can learn together. Uh, what do you think, guys? Would you like to see that on my channel? Entonces he estado pensando que a lo mejor puedo hacer una serie de vídeos sobre las acuarelas y las wash, las temperas. Um, y no sé, tener como una serie de vídeos así en mi canal para que aprendamos juntos. ¿Qué os parece? Okay. Actually, I have already tried some wash because I like to make my white splatters with washes, with white wash. I have one, so I'm very excited about it. Ya, yeah, por eso estoy contestando. Sí, he probado alguna wash. Tengo una blanca que es con la que me gusta hacer las salpicaduras. Es como un acrílico pero más líquido. Ah, you love watercoloring with your stamps. You see, I had to try that too. So, let's see. I think I should just take all the stickers and put them in place. Okay. And I see Kenan is messaging me, but I cannot reply now. <laughs> so she has to wait. Okay, this is really deep red. Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have taken the time. I should have taken the time to do this. But I really wanted you to see how they come and how well uh, is the packaging and everything. Quizá debería haber hecho esto antes, pero en realidad quería que vierais lo bien que vienen empaquetadas y, y cómo es todo cuando las recibes. Okay. Come on. It's super sticky. Esta pegatina se me está pegando por todas partes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, 
Susi, gracias por unirte a los Dragonflies. Oh, thank you so much for joining my membership, my channel membership. Yeah. Uh, recuérdame que luego te envíe el link del vídeo exclusivo que hemos hecho en mayo. Ok. <laughs> Okay, this is... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna need another battery. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Can you do this in this? <laughs> No. <laughs> she wants to put them in a different order and I said no. Yeah, you do this. I discovered watercolors recently and so yes, I would like to see your videos. How fantastic, Daniela. We can learn together. Because, you know, I don't know everything. I'm just constantly learning and that's what I like the most, to learn about new products and try them and see if they can be used on my mixed media projects, which I think it's possible, really. Okay. So my husband is now helping me. <laughs> okay. Entonces, bueno, va a acostarme un poquito quitar todo esto, pero... Um, where is this going? Here? Yeah. Okay. Oxford Blue. They have really cool names, like, you know, those classic names of watercolors, Prussian Blue, Deep Ocean, Cerulean, Persian Green, Persian Red, there is a lot of Persian here. Jade green and that. Oh, this is, come on. This is indigo. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, ¿Cómo sabrás cuál es el color de cada uno cuando se gasten? ¿Traen alguna marca detrás? No, pero no creo que los gaste nunca. Quiero decir, estas pastillas eh, duran muchísimo. Si eres súper, súper eh, fan de las acuarelas, pues entonces sí se te pueden gastar. Pero bueno, para eso ya tienes tu carta de color aquí hecha y siempre puedes recordar cuál es. Viendo el que has gastado, si no las cambias de sitio, ves el que has gastado aquí y aquí en la carta de color sí que viene el número. Uh, someone is asking me how I'm going to do if, if I run out of um, some colors, how will I know which one it is? So I just said I won't move the order. So keeping them in the same order, I can always come and check on my color chart, you know? I think that's the best thing to do. I'm running as much as I can, I promise you. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Yeah. Okay. And I just put my nails this evening. <laughs> okay. So I have seen many people like spraying water into the watercolors. What do you think? Should I do that? Anyone has any advice for me? Any piece of advice? Alguien tiene algún consejo para mí? Porque he visto que lo que hace la gente es rociar con agua sobre las acuarelas y me da un poco de cosa que se mezclen los colores. No me gusta mucho eso. <laughs> Because I am a maniac. I don't like the colors to blend together. I 
I hope you don't go because I'm opening the watercolors. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm almost done. Use a pipette and put one drop each pan. Okay, that's a good thing too. I have a pipette here. Okay, we are almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Yes. Ya, pero un pincel con de puesto de agua mmm, no me hace muy feliz. Ay, I don't know what is this yellow white. Un momento. This is this is one. I think it's this is not plus yellow. I already did something. Okay. No, la tengo en la mano. So this is. Sunburst, this is okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, we are there. Yippee. Okay, ya terminé de abrirlas. Increíble. Increíble, pero cierto. Okay. Okay, I think as a person with clear OTC problems, this is going to... Give me nuts because the order I don't like it, <laughs> but we will be okay. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll be okay. So what I have here, oh by the way, they come with this uh, water brush. Vienen con este pincel con depósito de agua. So maybe I should try it, but I want to try it uh, this. I have two glasses of water, one and other one. One is to use clean water, the other one is to just uh, clean my brushes. So I'm going to spray and I will do that of the pipette thing when I have more time today. I don't want you to get worried of this. So let's try the... Oh, this is mixed, okay. Yeah. So I have always heard that it's good. Oh, I just screwed up. <laughs> okay. First advice: Don't look at the screen when you are mixing your colors. Just look at your colors while you try to use them. <laughs> Good. Lesson learned. Vale, no miréis a la pantalla cuando estáis intentando utilizar las acuarelas, mirad a las acuarelas. So, uh, you can just go and put some water here, I guess, because I have heard that there are two ways of using watercolors, what is in wet and one is dry. So, I just take in, I'm going to put it in the right side. Yeah, I think it will be better. Like this, yeah, better. So, if you do this, and you don't, you go crazy like me. <laughs> okay, this is magenta. Uh, let's put it like this. Wow, it's so beautiful. Yeah, so you can use it with wet paper or with dry paper. I'm just wetting a little bit for you to see. The color is super intense. El color es super, um, super intenso. Me encanta. So I just feel, feel more comfortable if I just wet a little bit the square. And then I go and pick some color and like kind of blend it here. And then I go in the square and I can see the color like flowing. I really like that. Yeah. Wow. The violet and the magenta are amazing. Yeah. Bueno, yo me siento más cómoda humedeciendo un poco con el pincel el cuadradito. Así. Y luego cojo un poquito... I think these colors are not right. 
like this one should be deep red I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure maybe this is deep red or amaranth I don't know this is too brownish have no idea ok, let's say this is deep red bueno, no sé si este es el rojo profundo I really think they are super opaque and really pigmented I love them so far me parece que son super opacas y tienen muchísimo, muy pigmentadas son muy pigmentadas, me encantan so as you see, oh no, you cannot see I'm using one glass to clean my brush and then I use this one to pick clean water and I go like here just wetting a little of the paper como veis tengo un un vaso para el agua para limpiar el pincel y otro para coger agua limpia y luego ya vengo aquí y lo mezclo I think these two are on the other side, wow yeah They are really, really, really intense. Fantastic. Okay, let's try a scarlet red, which is to be this one. Uh, let's do this here. Yeah, it's a little bit less intense than the red red. <laughs> yeah, I'm a flower person. I like, honestly, I like every, every everything. You know, like I wouldn't say I don't use this in my projects. Uh, so yeah, I should try them, of course. This is called cadmium light red. Este se llama cadmium light red. Oh, I'm wondering how many shades of red can be <laughs> for a person that me like me that never uses um red <laughs> this is quite crazy <laughs> so the next one is saffron orange i'm very much into orange lately i've been playing with orange like for three uh, project in a row you will you will freak out next week I tell you okay look what happens when I don't use the wet paper mirad como se ve cuando lo hago directamente en el papel seco it's like even more intense yeah and I think I'm going to fill the first line and then we are going to use the washes what do you think Creo que voy a rellenar la primera línea y después vamos a probar las uh, watch. ¿Qué os parece? So this should be this one. Yeah, I think I like this technique of wet paper, wet on wet. Creo que me gusta mucho más la técnica de mojado en mojado, pero porque yo soy rarita. <ríe> ¡Qué bonitos quedan esos emojis, Pris! Ok, let's try some golden yellow here. Golden yellow should be this one. Which is more like a light. Uh, you can see anything. Yeah, better. This is like a light orange. Yeah, you can see how it is. Fantastic. Look at that. Okay. These colors. This color is called Auro, Aureolin Yellow, this one. Oh, it's cool because uh, the pants seem to be more darker and then it's not so, so dark. It is an amazing yellow, I have to say. 
like a little brownish, but very amazing. Es un amarillo precioso este, Aureolin um, Yellow. Wow. Ok, the cadmium. Te pregunto de dónde saco los emojis. ¿Los, los emojis? Sí, los suyos. Esos emojis son exclusivos para los miembros de mi canal. Cualquiera que se una a los miembros de mi canal, um, tenéis esos emojis. Y dependiendo de del nivel que elijáis, tenéis más o menos cosas. Ok. Los que eligen el nivel Butterfly, esos tienen acceso a un vídeo exclusivo al mes. Es un vídeo un poco distinto en el que hablo más, eh, suelen ser como de media hora y explico más cosas, más que lo que suelo hacer en un vídeo normal. And finally, this is the Lemon Yellow. This is like pale yellow. I love them so far. So, la idea, vamos a poner esto a un ladito y vamos a probar las watch. So, uh, first of all, I need a paper. Lo primero de todo, necesito un papel. So I've been thinking of doing something really cool with this. I will start today and I will continue in a record video. He pensado en hacer algo muy chulo con las wash. Voy a empezar hoy y voy a continuar en un video grabado. So <clears throat> my friend Martina sent me this beautiful watercolor paper booklet. That is like a treasure to me. Este librito me lo ha enviado mi amiga Martina. Me hizo un librito de papel de acuarela. Look how amazing it is. It is because this is canvas. And inside she put, uh, she just places some watercolor papers. So I thought maybe I could do something really cool with this one and with another one that I'm going to start today. So what I want to do is to make some swatches. I want to do some swatches, but with a little doodling or something a little special, ¿ok? Lo que quiero hacer con esto es como una especie de um, um, muestrario, pero con un poquito de doodle o garabatos. A mí no me cabe ya nada de nada eso de no tener una habitación solo para ti, ya. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm going to cut this in half, which is six, like this. And now I'm going to um, score it. Vale, lo he cortado a la mitad y lo que voy a hacer ahora es plegarlo. So it's nine, I'm going to score it at four and a half. Come on, be good with me. Yeah. Four and a half. Four and a half. Lo doblo a cuatro y medio. It doesn't matter if it's not uh, perfect because once it is in the booklet, I will cut the excess. No importa si no queda perfecto porque una vez lo tenga en el librito, le cortaré el exceso. So. Once it's done, let's take the empty pants. Vamos a coger unos cuadraditos de estos vacíos. Come on, be a good boy. Yeah. Um, let's try some colors. Vamos a probar algunos colores. I'm going to use random colors. Voy a coger colores al azar. Ok, not so random because I'm looking for a particular one. <risa> vale, no tan al azar porque estoy buscando uno en concreto. Ok, I found it. This one. Ok, beautiful. I like to use this one. It's called Bailarina Pink. Rosa Bailarina. So, yes, open it. It's super creamy. 
es súper cremoso. ¿Qué papel usas para las acuarelas, Nuneca? Eh, papel de acuarela de 300 gramos. Siempre que utilizo papel de acuarela me gusta que sea el de 300 gramos. I'm just placing a tiny bit there because I want to use very, very little today, you know? Like, I don't need too much. Estoy poniendo solamente un poquito ahí porque no necesito en realidad mucho hoy. ¿El papel de 300 gramos es liso? Es papel de acuarela, entonces lo hay de grano fino o de grano grueso. Este yo diría que es de grano grueso. Tiene un poquito de textura, ¿no? Sí, el de grano grueso tiene más textura. So, what I want to do is to, let's say, let's draw, let's draw a square. Vamos a dibujar con agua un cuadradito. Okay, you can see the reflection of the light. And now I pick the color and just gently go around. Dibujo un cuadradito con agua y lo que hago es que ahora cojo un poquito de color y lo extiendo por el cuadradito de agua que he pintado. Wow. I like it because it's really, really creamy. It's not like acrylic paint and it's not like watercolor. It's something in the middle. And look how amazing it is. Yeah. So let's keep it then. Let's keep it drying. Vamos a dejarlo que se vaya secando. So what I'm going to do to not forget the number is I'm going to just dry it. So this is a one, two, two. This is it. Godets, ok. Perfecto. I'm going to use this one too, which is called Sky Blue. And I'm going to put here something. If I'm not wrong, uh, when the wash is dry, they are like a little rock, but you can always get them back with water. You know, like this is going to dry and it's going to be hard, but if I add a little water, if I spray a little water, they will work perfectly. ¿Vale? Las guas, si no me equivoco, eh, cuando se secan se quedan duras, pero luego las puedes seguir utilizando, las rocías con agua y se reactivan. I'm not very good making squares, it seems. No soy muy buena yo pintando cuadraditos, parece. <laughs> But I will learn. Okay. So, I, it's so hard to do this standing still. Es difícil hacer esto estando de pie, también os lo digo. Okay, wow, this blue is so beautiful, it's almost like periwinkle which is one of my favorite colors. Me encanta este azul, que se parece un poco al color periwinkle, que es mi, uno de mis colores favoritos. Yeah, so you can play with the water and you can do it as much opaque as you want. Podéis jugar con el agua y hacerlas tan opacas como queráis. Yeah. And this is number A. One five four. Okay, let's check another one. Like this one. This one is called light apricot. Are they watercolors? No, they are washes. With this something in the middle of watercolor and acrylic. It's something in the middle. So let's draw another beautiful square here. Pinto otro cuadradito de agua aquí. Woo! 
is alive. <laughs> and I go gently here. I think if you want to make just a regular swatch, you can do it in order, but I want to do something a little different. Creo que si queréis hacer un muestrario normal, eh, es más conveniente hacerlo en el orden de los colores, pero yo quiero hacer algo un poquito diferente. So, let me take this one, it's called Sage Green. Este se llama Sage Green. I find this super relaxing. Me parece que esto es super relajante. And definitely I need some good paintbrushes. Y definitivamente me voy a comprar unos pinceles buenos. Okay. Wow, beautiful green is like spring green. Deberíamos haciendo proyectos con ellas. Sí, I, uh, sí, creo que sí, que las utilizaré en algún proyecto, ¿por qué no? Más pronto que tarde, ya lo veréis. And again, you can do it as much opaque as you want, depending on how much wash you add. Las podéis hacer tan opacas como queráis, dependiendo de la cantidad de wash que utilicéis. So... Let's go for some beautiful pinks. Without water, yeah, but I think you need water to move them. I I will say that it will be a pity to use this like acrylics. You know, like They are more delicate and I think really, really beautiful. It will be just a pity to use them as acrylics. Yeah, you said that they, they, they will yeah. move around too well. Exactly. I think they are more like watercolors, like thick watercolors, I would say. Um, they are not acrylics at all. It seems more like thick watercolors, but they are washed. That is something different. Okay, this color is per purple. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like pearlescent. Yeah! Wow! Es como perlescente. Este es el color uh, purpura perlescente. Purpura perla, pone. Oh, sí, sí, te dice Susi que te falta el número del verde. Okay, yeah, true. Ahora mismo lo pongo. Gracias. Y Gina said that uh, she got a set of six saber brushes y no me acuerdo por 20, 20 euros. Ok, I need to look for those good brushes. So the sage was 141. And this is A218. It's super beautiful, this color. Yeah. Let's try this one. It's called Peach Red. Yeah. I f wow, this color is going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at... <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like neon. Yeah, it's neon pink. So today I'm just going to show you an idea I had, okay? It's just something quickly to try the washes, but I promise you there will be a video with some cool, relaxing techniques and doodling. I will do that, I promise. Oh wow, I never thought I would have something like this. 
Oh my gosh! How can this exist? Wow! This is amazing! Madre mía, qué color tiene esto! Es rosa neón fluorescente total. Wow, wow, wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Me parece increíble. I think it's completely amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think you can see it from the moon. <laughs> oh, wow. Creo que se puede ver desde la luna este. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I am amazed by the color. <laughs> Okay, which colors should I try? I don't know. We need a yellow, right? Necesitamos algún naranja y algún amarillo. Okay. Let's try the lemon yellow. Neon pink nail paint. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It looks like nail paint. You are so right. Vamos a probar este amarillito. Let's try this yellow. It's called lemon yellow, so it should be also quite intense. So yeah, maybe I will have some idea for next six Saturday and I will use them on my live stream project. Quizás se me ocurra alguna idea que hacer con esto y lo utilice en mi proyecto de el sábado en directo. Yeah, as I was guessing, this yellow is super intense to like neon yellow. Sí, efectivamente, este amarillo neón también. No, they are washes. It's not acrylic at all. I would say they are something like watercolor, but thicker and more intense and really fun to do, I tell you. <laughs> I find them amazing. You were saying that it's because of the because of diversity. Si, so they are more thick, more dense, exactly. Yes. So I'm looking for a nice blue. Oh, this blue, I love it, the Prussian blue. Well, Terry was working and she got the notification. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tell them you have a meeting. Terry, tell them you have a meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's try this one. It's Prussian blue. It's one of my favorite blues in the world. But again, blue is really intense color. They can eat everything, so you have to be very careful. And just picking a little color. And I said, oh, oh Lord, I need this too. Look at those cool tone colors, my favorite. It's amazing. Don't you think those colors are just amazing? I never thought I would find something like that in paints. I'm just like crazy. Look what you can do. You can just place a little amount of wash and then you can do this. You can blend it. Mirad lo que podéis hacer. Ponéis poner un poquito de wash y podéis... Um, ay, no, no, me, no me sale la palabra en español. Mm, difuminarlo. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Karen, I think uh, when they dry, you can reactivate it. I will show you something. Let me just write the color here. I used a white wash to do my splatters. I will show you right now. It's like this. It's completely dry. So when I go like this and I add water, Sometimes it, uh, this, oh no, sorry, this is not <laughs> washed anymore. What is it? Oh, here. This is here. it. This is it. No, no, Adri. Últimamente estoy que me salgo con el mate. <laughs> so I can put a little water in this and you will see how they all come back. 
So even if they dry, you can use them again and again. Look at this. Okay, this is whitewash and it was completely dry. And I could do splatters right now with this. So yeah, no problem if they dry it then. It's okay. So even uh, you can feel the pans. You can feel the, how Christina said they are cold? I don't remember. You can feel them and even if they dry, they will work again when you add some water. Let's add this. Come on. Godet, gracias. No me da igual, me lo vais a decir 80 veces y a mí se me va a olvidar. O sea, sí, sí, Godet, lo que tú, lo que tú quieras. <risa> And you know, my husband is going to give them a nice, funny name. I am sure about that. Yeah, this green is also neon green. Oh my gosh, I'm picking all the neons. <laughs> so funny. Estoy cogiendo todos los colores neon. Esto es muy loco. Os lo digo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm thinking this could be this could be amazing in one of those in one of those uh, clean and simple projects. Look at that color! This is incredible. I think it's completely amazing. And let's try some orange. Like oh, this one says pearl orange, so maybe it's pearless sand too. Este dice pearl orange. Yeah, Olga should have <laughs> like that green. <laughs> I'm not very sure about that, Terry. No estoy yo muy segura de eso. Este dice que es el naranja perlado. And yeah, actually the color seems pearlescent. So let's see. Vamos a ver. 214. Come on. ¿Me puedes hacer un favor? Sí. ¿Me puedes traer agua limpia? Sí. ¿Cuántos purples So let's try the pearlescent orange. And yes, it is something like pearlescent, yeah. Sí, gracias. So, wow, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful, this orange. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Uh, what is what is 214? Uh, 214. Okay. So what color should be should go here? We don't know. Let's pick this one. Wine berry. How many reds? Uh, let me count. One, two, three, four. I would say four reds. Which is good because I don't use red so much. Okay, I will try one red, yeah. Did the package say full colors or bright or just good? No, they are all, uh, it's a mix. I will show you now in the package. I, give me a second, I will show you now. So, Adi, want me to try one red? Red one. Okay, let's try Scarlet. Scarlet Johansson. Oh, 
this is pearl scarlet. How beautiful. Es super bonito. Este es rojo perlado. 209. I think all the ones that are 200 something, they are all like pearl scent. Yeah. Oh, it's more pinkish, but this is still super beautiful. Oh, error, error. Error? Por qué? Del, nah, ya lo sé, ya lo sé. No, no, no pasa nada. Are these a bit shimmery? I don't think so. When they dry, uh, yeah, the the pearl scent they are a little shimmery. Yeah, the other ones are completely matte. I don't know if you can see the purple is already uh, dry and it is. It has a little shimmer on it, just a little bit. Um, we need something here. Like what? Katerina says that she has the metallic watch and she's loving in love with them. I need them <laughs> then. So answering your question, look at this. This is the box, okay? So this is the light fatness and this is the transparency. So as you can see, some of them are opaque, with which they have the white square, they seem opaque. Those are semi-transparent, like this one, and these are completely transparent, and they should be one like this one. This is completely transparent. Yeah, and this Okay, so they are like everything. We need watermelon here. Okay, let me look for watermelon. What is watermelon? No, this is more like watermelon, I, I will say. Um, let's... Wineberry? Wineberry? ¿Cómo? Wineberry? Wineberry, ¿qué es un wineberry? Yo que sé. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, this is the one I was going to use. The wineberry that is this one. I see. Yeah. I don't know, Adi, what you want me to try a red, if you know I don't like red. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, it's actually like wine. And I want to try something because I guess I should let them dry. Creo que debería dejarlos secar al aire, pero quiero probar a secarlos con la pistola. But I want to try to dry them and see what happens, okay? Oh, maybe if I switch it on, maybe it will work. Alice said that you have to use a red one because you uh, to know how intense is the red one. Okay, I will try the vermilion. <laughs> I will try the vermilion, don't worry. Put it like this. Vermillion is like light red, okay? <laughs> Aditi, Aditi, you are laughing a lot with me lately, eh? Huh? I'm going to... You have to pay for this. I will have nightmares tonight because I'm using red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's quite intense, I will say. Bad girl. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so let me try and dry them. I have to say that I like them more 
even when they are dry. Me gustan incluso más cuando están secos. I think they are amazing. And yeah, they are super opaque and matte. And I love that. And the ones that are pearlescent, that is this one, this one, and this one, they have a little shimmer. That's super cool. So what I've been thinking is that I could use a Posca pen and maybe I could, I could do some doodle like, let's try this here. So I like to do, I want to do some swatches, but I want them to be like this, when some doodling around. So I think I will do a beautiful video, like doing this, with the colors in some good order, so I have beautiful color charts. And let's try with the gold one, and we can maybe just... draw some leaves creo que me encanta hacer esto con los con las muestras quiero pintarles a uh, cositas a los cuadraditos entonces creo que voy a hacer un vídeo grabado haciendo esto haciendo unas muestras de los colores uh, pero con los con esta cosa con los doodles Yeah, they are absolutely amazing. I'm so happy they sent them to me. I have to say, it, it's, it's like a dream come true. Woo! This Posca was crazy. Come on. <laughs> okay. So I'm just playing, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I have my swatches, but it will be something like this. I also have one in silver. Let's... Come on. Yeah. Okay. So this one is for this one. What do I have to say? So yeah, maybe I will do some beautiful videos like, yes, using the washes or the watercolors and doodling around because I think it's super relaxing and I've been quite stressed lately. Creo que voy a hacer unos videos de este tipo uh, con los colores en orden y haciendo algunos dibujitos porque estoy muy estresada últimamente y creo que esto es súper relajante. So, uh, I give you my honest opinion. I still don't know about the watercolors. I need to use them more. But so far, I love them. And the washes, I'm totally, completely, absolutely in love with them. I think they're super cool thing. Uh, as I said, not acrylic, not watercolor, something in the middle, delicate and really, really beautiful. Me encanta. Eh, si os digo la verdad, las acuarelas aún no sé mucho, tengo que probar más. Y los wash es que me parecen alucinantes. Eh, son como una acuarela, pero más espesa, más opaca, muy divertido de usar y me encanta el tono que deja. So that's what I'm going to do. I will do some uh, beautiful videos. Yes, uh, to have fun, to relax, and I hope you like them. And of course, I will try to incorporate those beautiful washes and watercolors to my uh, projects, to my mixed media project. Así que eso es lo que voy a hacer. Haré algunos videos para aprender a utilizar estos productos. Y, por supuesto, intentaré incorporarlos a, a mis trabajos de mix media. So tell me, guys, did you like them? 
Decidme si os, os gustan este tipo de, de proyectos, eh, perdón, de productos y este tipo, este tipo de vídeos. Uh, I think they, they have some metals here. I have silver. They come with silver. I, it's also gold. Um, I'm not sure about... Yeah, it's bronze here. So there are some metallics. Do you want me to try them? Uh, yeah, let's try them. Let's look for the silver. What is the silver? Yeah, here is the silver. Let's try the silver. Vamos a probar el plateado. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I took a look in the website and I couldn't find them. You can go and check, of course. And meanwhile, in the meantime, I'm going to use this silver. So let me make, let me draw my square. <laughs> okay, it looks like the same, but it is right in metallic. Oh wow! Then I need them. <laughs> yeah. The silver is metallic. But there are only... Wow, 60 colors metallic. 60 color metallics in wash? Yeah. I need them. I'm going to buy them. It's a metallic brooch. You can go and buy them, honey. Yeah. My... My... Birthday is next week. You can buy them to me. <laughs> it sounds fair, don't you think so? Creo que suena bien. Mi cumpleaños es la semana que viene. <laughs> so silver is a two five two, and yes, it's metallic. Silver is metallic, but if there is a box with metallics, I need them. <laughs> and it is a mine is in September. <laughs> Okay, guys, so thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I promise you there will be super beautiful videos using the watercolors and the Artisa washes. And I really hope you like them. Uh, remember, you have the, the links to buy some Artesa products if you want, they have also markers, they have canvas, they have everything and anything you can imagine and you can use the discount of 10% with uh, coupon code is NUNECA1 so I put some links for you down in the description box uh, you will find links for United States and Canada and links for uh, Europe and that's it guys uh, thank you so much um, i hope you enjoy it and have a little fun and relax for a tiny little white with me today bueno muchas gracias a todos por haberos unido por haber estado hoy viendo esta presentación de productos espero que os hayan gustado si queréis comprar tenéis abajo el link en la cajita de descripción de arteza europa y tenéis el cupón de descuento de 10% Y bueno, creo que haré esos vídeos súper relajantes. So, please, wait for my videos. <laughs> I will do some beautiful videos with some cool things, I hope, I hope. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for joining and see you soon, guys. Actually, see you on Saturday with a very cool surprise. Nos vemos el sábado con una sorpresa súper chula. I can't tell you more. No puedo deciros más. See you guys. Bye. Oh, Cassie, don't worry. It will be now in my YouTube channel. Bye bye, guys. Cassie is asking you if there is a hop on Saturday. Yeah, we have a hop on Saturday. And it's going to be special and amazing. I promise you. <laughs> it will be an interesting hop. You will see, you will see. Stay tuned, guys. Estad atentos que el sábado tenemos Hop y va a ser muy divertido, muy chulo y diferente. So, hope, hope.
Hopture Day. <risa> ok, Hopture Day. <risa> Gracias a todos. Chao. Bye, bye.